Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about solving money problems involving systems of linear equations. Now on to our video. Let's have an example. So, 8 kilograms of potatoes and 5 kilograms of carrots cost 923 pesos. Whereas 2 kilograms of potatoes and 3 kilograms of carrots cost 369 pesos find the cost of 1 kilogram of each item. So, in this word problem, we're looking for the price of 1 kilogram of potatoes and 1 kilogram of carrots. Okay, so let's have a representation for our 1 kilogram of potatoes and 1 kilogram of carrots. So let P be equal to the price of 1 kilogram of potatoes and let C be equal to the price of 1 kilogram of carrots. Now that we have our representation, let's proceed to our translation. So let's translate our word problem to a system of linear equation. We have 8 kilograms of potatoes. So we have 8 times the price of 1 kilogram of potatoes. And N can be translated as an addition symbol. Then we have 5 kilograms of carrots. So 5 times the price of 1 kilogram of carrots. So we have 5 C cost so we can trans we can translate that as an equal symbol it is equal to 923 pesos so it is equal to 923 pesos so now we have our first equation 8p plus 5c is equal to 923 let's proceed to our second equation 2 kilograms of potatoes can be translated as 2p and plus 3 kilograms of carrots. So we have 3 times C or 3C. It will cost, equal symbol, 369 pesos. So we will write 369. So our second equation will be 2P plus 3C is equal to 369. So now that we have our first and second equation, we can now proceed to our solution and we can now solve for the value of P and C by using either elimination method or substitution method. So let's use elimination method. So to eliminate one of the variable, let's make sure that it is written in standard form. So it is written in standard form and let's see what variable are we going to eliminate. And for me, I decided to eliminate the variable P. To eliminate P, we need to multiply our second equation by 4, making it the same coefficient as our first equation. So our first equation will still be 8P plus 5C is equal to 923. Now let's multiply our second equation by 4. So we have 8P plus 12C is equal to 1,476. So to eliminate our variable P, we need to subtract our equations. So 8P minus 8P, that will be equal to 0. 5C minus 12C, that will be equal to negative 7C. And 923 minus 1,476, that will be equal to negative 553. So we will have negative 7C is equal to negative 553. Let's divide both sides by negative 7 to solve for the value of C. C will be equal to 79. So the price of 1 kilogram of carrots is equal to 79 pesos. Now that we have our price for 1 kilogram of carrots, we can now solve for the value of P by substituting C to our first or second equation. So let's do that okay so let's substitute c to our second equation so replacing c by 79 3 times 79 that is equal to 237 let's transpose 237 to the other side of the equation we will have 369 minus 237 simplifying that we will have 2p is equal to 130 Two. Let's divide both sides by 2 to solve for the value of P. So P will be equal to 66. So that will be the price of our 
one kilogram of potatoes. Now that we have our solution, it is necessary for us to check if it will satisfy our first and second equation. So before concluding anything, we need to substitute or test first our solution. Let's substitute. Let's simplify. We have 528 plus 395. Is it equal to 923? So yes, it satisfies our first equation. What about our second equation? Let's substitute. Okay, simplify. 123 plus 237 is equal to 369. Yes, it is equal to 369. Therefore, it satisfies our second equation. So, since it satisfies our first and second equation, we can now conclude that a kilo of potatoes costs 66 pesos and a kilo of carrots costs 79 pesos. Alright, let's have another example. So, the Avalon Zoo in Montalban Rizal charges 300 pesos for each adult admission and 200 pesos for each child. The total payment made by 30 people on Pambata Daycare Center field trip was 6,500 pesos. How many adults and children went on a field trip? We're looking for the number of adults and children who went on the field trip. So let's have a representation for our variables. So let A be equal to the number of adults and let C be equal to the number of children. Now that we have our representation, let's have our translation. Let's convert our word problem to a system of equation. But before we write our equation, let's list down all our given. We are given the ticket price, the number or the total number of people and the total amount they paid. A ticket price for an adult admission is equal to 300 pesos and for a child it is 200 pesos. The total number of people who went to the field trip is 30 people. For the number of adults, we don't know yet, that's why it's a variable. And for the number of children, so we, we will just write a variable C and A for adult and C for children. Now the total amount they paid is 6,500. Now for the total amount they will pay for all the adult who went on that field trip, you can get it by multiplying the price of the ticket by the number of adults. So 308. And for the number of children who also went on that field trip, we can get it by multiplying the ticket price by the number the number of children. We will have 200 times C. Now that we completed our table, our given, we can now convert this to an equation. So for, a to for the total number of people, we will have 30. So to get 30, we need to add the number of adults and the number of children. They paid 6,500 pesos. So to get 6,500 pesos, we need to have the ticket price times the number of adults plus the ticket price times the number of children. It, is, it should be equal to 6,500. So this will be our system of our equation. Now that we have our equations, we can now solve for the values of A and C. So in solving for the values of A and C, we can use elimination method or substitution method. In this case, let's use elimination method. Now let's identify what are we going to eliminate. So for me, let's try to eliminate the variable C. So to eliminate variable C, they should have the same coefficient. So Let's multiply the first equation by 200. So let's multiply both sides by 200. We will have 200A plus 200C is equal to 6,000. Okay, let's just copy our second equation. We have 300A plus 200C is equal to 6,500. 
Now, to eliminate our variable C, let's subtract our equations. 200A minus 300A, that will be equal to negative 100A. 200C minus 200C equal to 0. And 6,000 minus 6,500, that will be equal to negative 500. So we will have negative 100A is equal to negative 500. So let's solve for the value of A by dividing both sides by negative 100. So our A will be equal to 5. Or now that we have the value of A, we can now solve for the value of C by substituting the value of A to our first or second equation. So let's substitute it to our first equation and let's substitute the value of A to our first equation. Let's transpose 5 to the other side of the equation, changing the sign. We have C is equal to 30 minus 5, so C is equal to 25. Now that we have our values of A and C, let's do our fourth step, which is checking. Let's check if this is our solution. So let's substitute the values of A and C to our first and second equation. So let's substitute. 5 plus 25, is it equal to 30? Yes, it is equal to 30. Next, let's substitute it to our second equation. Let's add them. Is it equal to 6,500? Yes, it satisfy our second equation. So since it satisfy our first and second equation, we can now conclude that there are 5 adults and 25 children on Pambata Daycare Center field trip. Alright. Okay, let's have our last example for today. Patricia has worked at Go Donut so long that she memorized the amounts for many common orders. For example, six donuts and five coffee cost 245 pesos, while four donuts and three coffee cost 155 pesos. The question is, what are the prices of one cup of coffee and one donut? Okay, so in this word problem, we're looking for the price of one cup of coffee and the price of one donut. So let's have a representation of what we are looking for. So let D be equal to the price of a donut and let C be equal to the price of a cup of coffee. And now that we have our representation, let's translate our word problem to a system of linear equation. But before we write our equation, let's identify first our given. One of the common orders is 6 donuts and 5 coffee will cost 245 pesos. Now the other common order, 4 donuts and 3 coffee, it will cost 155 pesos. Pesos. This will be our clue in writing our equation. So our first equation will be 6 donuts and plus 5 coffee, 5C, five it will be equal to 245. Our second equation will be 4 donuts, 4D, plus 3 coffee, 3C, will be equal to 155 pesos. So that will be our second equation. Now that we have our system, we can now solve for the value of D and C by substitution or elimination. In this case, I will use I will use elimination method. So let's pick what variable are we going to eliminate. So for me, I decided to eliminate the variable C. So let's eliminate C. By changing the coefficient of C, we need to convert them in having the same coefficient. So we need to multiply our first equation by 3 and we need to multiply our second equation by 5. So our first equation will be equal to 18D plus 15C is equal to 735. Our second equation will be 20D plus 15C is equal to 775. Now, since our coefficient of C is the same, we can now eliminate them by subtracting the equations. So let's subtract. We have 18D minus 20D that will be equal to negative 
15c minus 15c that will be equal to 0 735 minus 775 that will be equal to negative 40 our equation will be negative 2d is equal to negative 40 okay let's solve for the value of d by dividing both sides by negative 2 so d will be equal to 20. So the price of a donut will cost 20 pesos. Now that we have our value of D, we can now solve for the value of C by substituting D to our first or second equation. So let's substitute it to our second equation. So let's replace D by 20. So 4 times 20, that will be equal to 80. Let's transpose 80 to the other side of the equation, changing the sign. We have 3c is equal to 155 minus 80. 155 minus 80, that will be equal to 75. Let's divide both sides by 3. Okay, our value of c will be equal to 25. So a cup of coffee will cost 25 pesos. Now, before we conclude with our final answer, we need to check our solution. So, let's substitute the value of D and C to our first and second equation. So, let's substitute it first to our first equation. Simplifying it, 120 plus 125, is it equal to 245? Yes, it satisfies our equation. Now, let's test it to our second equation. Substitute, simplify, we have 80 plus 75, is it equal to 155? Yes, it satisfy our, our second equation. Okay, since it satisfy our first and second equation, we can now conclude that a donut cost 20 pesos and a cup of coffee cost 25 pesos. Alright, now that you already know how to solve money problems involving systems of linear equations, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace!